Hello everyone and welcome to this new episode for the STM32 F1 timer series. And this time we do have a very important part which is the capture or how to know what is the frequency of an input signal. And as you can see today in this example, we do have our STM32 F1 which is connected to itself and with generating a certain signal. And here we are capturing the change of the signal or what is going on um, inside the STM32F1. So the capture is one of the most important features of the timer and today we will understand how to set up the function and also how to read it. So if you'd like to learn more, just stay tuned and follow this episode. So, so far we have been working on the output function of the timer and within this tutorial we will start focusing and working on the input side. So as usual the code is available on GitHub just focus on this tutorial and download the code later on to, to play with it and understand what's going on. The um, language is C and the program to code will be KL version 5 and again you will need to have some understanding of the previous tutorial we have made so you can have a very easy and smooth understanding within this video. So from the hardware we will need only the STM32 F1 based board which is the AKA Blue Pill. So let's take a look at our tutorial. So first of all we are going to understand the capture, how the capture is working within the timer itself. After that we will going to take a look on the registers that are working within the capture. Then we will review the circuit that you will have, even though it's a quite a very basic um, circuit. So after that, we are going to jump to the code and start building the functions for the capture. And finally, we will need some functions to read the data from the capture itself. Okay, so let's start understanding the, the capture logic and to start there yeah, nothing better to start with the compare to see what is the difference so this is our compare usual logic we will have our timer set up and we will be setting up some um position in the um the actually the compare uh the, the compare capture register and each time we reach that value we will have a change in the polarity of our pin if we set up our time on that way and this is the 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 main purpose of the compare so it generates an output out of the um thread of the microcontroller itself so if we go to the capture it will be the opposite and what will happen is if we do have a signal that would have edges like um, the uh, high or low or rising or falling edge, what we can do is we can set up a timer that will be working and we will say, okay, we will make work on the falling edge of our timer. So each time we detect the falling edge, the timer will capture that and we will put in it in the compare capture register. So each time we will have a falling, it will be captured there. So from the register perspective, what we will have is, first of all, as usual, we will need the counter register, the prescalar register, and the auto reload register. This is the core register to make the primary setup for the timer. Then we will need the capture compare mode register. This one will control the function and will say, is it a compare or a capture? and what kind of compare or what kind of capture. Here we are going to use this one and set it up to have the compare, actually the capture function. After that, we will need the break and dead time register. And within this one, we need to use only the, uh, um, the bit number 15. And this is to connect the timer and enable it to control the pin. After that, we will have the compare capta enable register and this register will enable the function of using compare or capture. Then finally, we will use this capture compare register and this is where we are going to save or the microcontroller is going to save the data when it compare a falling or um, a rising register, okay? Or falling or rise signal. And you can see here, all those registers 
are exactly the same the one that we have been using to create the, the compare function. So in our next program, we are going to start from the compare function and we are going to transform it until we get our capture function. Okay, so now that we do have an idea, let's take a look to our circuit. So that will be a very basic and simple circuit. So what we will have to do is to t take the P port A, P number 8, and set it up as a compare. Take the port A, P number 9, uh, set it at, and set it as a capture. And after that, what we are going to do is to connect both pins together and start reading the value that we set in the PA8 um, within by using the the PA9 pin. That's a very simple and basic exercise, but that will be very useful on later on's video where we'll see how we can use it in a real life example. Okay, so now that we do have an idea and a good overview, let's go and start building the capture function. And again, we start from almost a blank page here because we are going to construct the capture function. And as we have discussed in the previous details of the registers, the capture function will use exactly the same uh, register as the compare one. So what we are going to do is take and start from the timer compare micro, go through it and make the changes that we need to do. So let's copy the whole thing here. Let's take this one, copy it, and start putting this one. This is not the most efficient way, but from understanding perspective, that's quite very interesting, and that's helpful to understand what's going on. So instead of compare, we call capture here. So let's start by the parameters. We need the port, we need the pin, we need the auto reload to see the period in which we would like to compare, but we don't read the compare one. Instead, we will what we need, let's put here, char edge. We would like to confirm which edge we would like to have. Is it a falling or um, a rising edge, okay? So first of all, we still need to get the, the timer and we go through to get also here the timer and the channel. That's perfect. We still here need to check if this is working or not. And after that, we will activate if it's working. Then here's the first big change. So we don't need any more an output. We would like to have an input. So we are going to change the initialization of the pin. So let's go here and this one become input. And after that, it become IPP, so as an input for a PP. The time um, prescaler is correct. And after that, the big change here for this register is the one that create the setup. What we need to do is not anymore, um, the, this is the, the value that will generate the compare, but to change it, we need to put one here. And after that, the hexadecimal 100, if we would like to activate channel two. And same for these two ones, it will be, sorry, not 10, but the one hexadecimal. And also here, the 100 hexadecimal. And this is what will generate, well, will ask the microcontroller to use a timer as a capture, not anymore as a compare. And after that, we can go for the CER. This is the CER, which is the activation. This is also perfect. So we activate the whole thing. So this is the primary one that we have done. So as you can see, the compare here is in red because we don't need it anymore. We don't need to put any value in the compare register. But before putting the AAR, there is one very important variable that we, we added. So let's put yeah edge like this. So let's go for if here, and we will give a value later on for edge. So if edge, this one, so if it's positive. So this one, we will have, we need to update the CER register. That's the register that will generate that. And it will be the timer register for C, sorry, CER, this one, and it will be or equal, and that will be one, 
and that one will be pushed back by like this and we, we need to have channel it's exactly same as this one but plus one so let's put channel here minus one and then we will multiply by four because to get to the position within the register and after that we close it we put plus one because it's the bit next to the activation and then we close this one okay so that's if it's positive so if we would like to have it um is rising age and else what we have to do so if it's not positive and we would like to have it as falling one so what we can do we are going to copy the same thing here actually let's copy the same like this and instead of this one it will become an end here and we put here the tilt so that will be the opposite and by doing so by doing so we just created the capture function so you can see it's almost same that the compare by using the the registers and we do have some some parameter to change so let's copy this one again and this is the micro one we are going to use the milli one quickly so let's create the milli one quickly and you you can exactly and quickly understand what to change so here the milli put the milli so the first thing here is not anymore 72 minus 1 but it's 36000 36000 minus 1 and as usual i would need to multiply this one by 2 so you could see it's quite very simple and easy so this is clear now so let's make them small and add the extra line at the end like this and after that i will need quickly to add the rise and fall so we can create a small enum so we are going to enumerate edges here like this so put it like this and we add them here so what we need to do here we call the rise and fall and they will automatically get the um the value of zero and one okay perfect so that's exactly what we needed so now we do have the functions ready let's save and build just in case okay zero error zero warning okay great so now we created the functions you could see it's quite easy if you understand the compare one and the next step is to to get the values and also to stop the timer okay so in this part we are going to get the value that is captured by the the um the uh, the timer so what we need to do as usual so let's go here quickly put this one here so we can put it will be in int and we call it timer get and we can put uh, in the space first get and capture and as usual we would like to have it as a micro okay and after that to open so what we will need to input is as usual the port and also the pin this is the two information that we need here and let's open our function so first of all we need to get the timer itself and we do have a very nice function that we set up at the beginning so we don't need to repeat ourselves so let's put it like this so we do have our timer ready and also let's set another value we call it um my my capture so int and we call my capture that will be equal zero we can also set up the prescaler function because we need to get the prescaler so we need to get the right value so my psc so my psc is equal and we call here equal zero at the beginning okay so we do have the timer and we need to confirm so about which channel so we need also to get the channel too so char channel like this okay and this one is also an int like this and the channel so we need to confirm which channel is we need to read to get the right one okay so let's start first of all 
is we need to get the switch and based on the timer to get the the channel the right capture from which channel we are going to get and on this one we need to get back again to take this value here because this is where we do have but we are going to inverse a little bit i'm just copying it just here and what we are going to do is we are not going to take this compare so my capture it will become so let's remove this one like this like this so we don't need to have this one at each time okay and we need to put my capture equal it depends on the channel okay and the channel is defined by the port and also the pin we put this one like this one so we do have the right capture depending on which channel we would like so this is the first thing after that what we do is my ps my prescaler and we get the timer prescaler so it will be the timer and the prescaler okay and finally we compute my capture again so it's my capture because we need to adjust to the number of microseconds so my capture is equal so we need to do it again so my capture like this and we multiply by my prescaler and this is to adjust it to the microsecond and we divide here by a 72 minus 1 okay so here so there is an extra that we don't need which is this one and we should be good and at the end we return my capture here yeah. like this so we can get on this very simple code we can get quickly the capture that we would like okay so and we can quickly add again here like this and not micro but milli and on this one it's it's much simpler we don't need nothing from all this one so we still keep let's keep my capture and remove the whole thing and we still don't need even this one what we need to call we just call this one int for this here so we even remove the int and we just put like this so we put my capture directly will be equal to the whole thing here we remove the char of the pin and the port like this one and we divide by 1000 and here we have the capture directly and we return this one you see it's quite simple when we go to melee so let's also quickly let's make this one here and copy the whole thing to the header so we don't forget about this we have a, quite a library now so let's add this one the melee and we also add the capture micro and milli okay control v and control v again for this one micro and milli <clears throat> perfect so one last function that i would like to add it's a quite a simple one but extremely important for me is if we would like to stop the channel for a certain reason so let's go here save save and I'm going to add it at the end if I would like to stop a, ch a certain channel so char timer and we call here a channel and then stop okay and what we need to input as a port and also we call char port and also a char for the pin itself okay so let's start inputting here and what we need as usual is to get the timer itself so let's go to this one so where we can get the timer quickly 
very useful functions that we do have here. So we do have this one and also we need the channel. So let's go to channel here. <coughs> okay, that's perfect. And what we need to do, the most important thing is to go for the timer CER. So we go here, we can take it immediately. So this is the activation one. So this is how you activate your timer. And what we are going to do in this one is to deactivate the timer, the, the channel itself. So this is the activation. So what we need to do is to put and and a tilt here. And this is will deactivate my the, ch the specific channel for the timer. We can also do what we can also add is also the value of the channel. So this is one of the part where we may need to put it as a zero. So if we go, for example, here for this one, we can go back to the end. Where is it? Here for the compare, like this. What we can do, and we can add this one like this here. And instead of compare, we put zero. So we initialize the value just in case. So we don't have any error or any issue. Zero and zero. So like this, we can say we have initialized the value of also the compare. Okay, so let's add this one here. That can be a useful function in the future. Well, I mean, I may, um, I will not be using it for the short term but that be something that can help for some applications. Okay, let's close this one and add quickly something like this. So we do have an end of line like this and close everything. Okay, so here we do have all the function that we need for our test. And for our test, let me quickly show you what we do have. So we do have a very simple circuit as discussed previously. We just have the PA8 connected to PA9. And now, right now, there's nothing going on within this microcontroller. So let's quickly just do one small program here. What we are going to do is create, so let's take timer and start by channel the compare micro and we can put for example uh, for this one is not an example this is our wiring so pa8 and let's say we would like to have an aar of 50000 and the the compare value will be maybe let's say 20000 that's just an example and after that we would like to create a function the timer compare and uh, no, this is not the compare, but to become the capture micro, and it will be exactly so. We are going to use the PEA, and as they are using the same timer, both of them are timer one. Uh, better to put the it's not better, it's actually we must put the same AR, so here, nine and fifty thousand. Okay, so uh, and we need to check the edge, and let's take the fallen edge, okay fall like this yep okay that's perfect so also let's set up yeah I, I usually put all the timers connected with the channels okay and before the int itself let's declare some um, variables we call the int and we call here the fall or the capture here milli and it will be equal to zero capture melee will be equal to zero and also i can not melee let's yeah okay let's take the melee and also capture here i'll call micro okay i would like to check if both of my um code are working properly okay so we generate in macro this is 50 millisecond and i do have 20 um each 20 millisecond I will have a change of uh, the uh, I say I will have a change okay so let's start a reading so capture here if we go capture milli like this will be equal well that's a capture micro we start with a micro 
that should be equal to and we what we can do is the uh we call what did you call it timer get yeah capture micro and that will be the pa the pa it actually the pa 8 okay so let's start with this one just with this one save build see if we do have any error or problem okay there is a warning let's check missing return statement okay let's go here so i should have yeah it's char so let's put here return one just in case and save build okay so now let's uh, load our code okay seems everything working well and what we can do we can start debugging and see what will be the value of the capture micro so what i need to do you just select this one and add it to the watch list so and let's avoid to have hexadecimal and have a normal value to see what we read and you can see here we are reading 20,000 so which means we perfectly have a capture function and we are capturing 20,000 so now let's change it to milli here so go back here close build so and we go back again ah actually that's wrong actually what i'm having here i should read the nine not the eight that's a mistake apologies so anyway let's run here and see what we read there's nothing okay let's check again and before that let's check the micro that's a mistake i was reading so the nine is a fall so it should be good let's build load and go here and run okay we are reading the micro is correct is twenty thousand, which is perfect that's exactly what we need so let's here change this one to milli save load and load the whole thing so and now we can debug and check so if we run here the micro here is is not working no it's not it's not working i need to visualize the milli actually and i should see i should expect to see 20. so let's see here what i'm seeing so the milli is showing which is normal because i have to change also the function here which is quite obvious yeah that's the end of the day and a bit difficult <laughs> okay build and i must see a 20 now let's check and i'm seeing a 20 so all the functions are working properly and we can have the capture as we want so now that we do have this we will go to the next video where we will see a very nice utilization of this function and how useful it can be. So see you soon and thank you for following the video.